Hello and welcome to the OC Top 10 Countdown. I'm Jonathan Camus and heading into the playoffs, we're seeing some teams cementing their spots. Tustin is holding it down at number 10 after their shutout victory over El Medina. Wilkerson had another ho-hum game, just four touchdowns. La Habra is coming off a high, defeating Troy 47-14. They did it without their star running back, the juice, Josh Pizzotta, who, like everybody else, was sick with the flu. Modern Day keeps it locked at number 8 after defeating Jay Serra 45-7. Corbin Anderson was great filling in for Jordan Allen, scoring three touchdowns. Los Alamitos didn't allow Edison to score an offensive touchdown and still lost 27-10. They host Esperanza this week. Orange Lutheran survived a tight one against St. John Bosco as the running game came alive with Damani Wilson and Chance Baker shouldering the load. They play Servite this week for Trinity League Supremacy. Dana Hills comes in at number five. QB Trent Mason had three touchdown passes and ran one in as well in a victory over Capistrano Valley. Kyle Middlebrooks was unleashed onto Newport Harbor. He scored twice and had over 170 total yards of offense, but he wasn't happy with the sloppy win. That might have something to do with playing Edison this Friday night. Servite is stuck at the three spot after they defeated Santa Margarita 48-26. Chris Nichols got the Servite running attack back on track with three scores. Can anybody stop the Mission Viejo runaway train? After scoring 60 last week, they put up 70 on Aliso Miguel. Watch out, San Clemente, they're coming. Can you guess who's at number one? Yep, it's Edison. Hey, if their offense can't score, they'll do it with special teams and defense, but they better get their O back on track if they want to keep the bell. That concludes our countdown, but stay tuned all week as we have big games with even bigger implications. Check out OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered.